this is one that happened quite early on. And I remember this one came about through our sister disciple, Tabitha, when she was reading through this in the Gospels, because, you know, when you're first understanding and you're starting to see these differences and you grasp and you could say, oh, my goodness, Luke is to the bride of Christ. Mark is to the world and the sleeping church that's not ready. And Matthew, which is the house of Israel and, <clears throat> and Matthew is written to the Jews. And you're like, oh, my goodness. And then you start diligently looking through the Gospels yourselves to see what these differences are. And that's what our sister disciple Tabitha did. <coughs> Excuse me. And she found the differences within the colors of the robes. Do you think they that these guys were colorblind? That, you know, what was the difference? What was going on? In Luke, when Christ is going to the cross, he was arrayed in a gorgeous robe. See? Gorgeous, white, radiant, clear. When you go to Mark, you see that Jesus was arrayed in purple. When you go to Matthew, you see that he was arrayed in scarlet. Were these guys colorblind? Was it because one was looking from one angle and one from the other angle and one from another angle? No. There was prophecy built into this. What do you what is this telling us? <clears throat> How about we go to Revelation 17? <clears throat> Excuse me. In Revelation 17, what are the tribulation colors? Revelation 17, verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet. The woman riding the beast was arrayed in purple and scarlet. Was she arrayed in, in a gorgeous white, beautiful white robe? No, that's for his bride. You see, how about this one? This is another fun one. Uh, uh, 